Okay, class, let us look at other examples of renewable energy. Uh, we have geothermal energy. Geothermal energy. This is energy produced from hot volcanic rocks below the acid surface. That's why it is called geo, because it is generated from rocks. One student may also say it is generated from the decay of radioactive elements within the interior of the earth. Geothermal energy is called renewable energy if deep underground heat flows can be tapped. If deep underground heat flows can be tapped by man, then keeps on renewing it. Geothermal energy can either be used for heating water directly or it can be converted into electricity. Here, yeah, how geothermal energy can be converted into electricity. This is a geothermal plant. This illustration is about a geothermal plant. This is hot water from underground. When it reaches the acid surface, it forms a stream. It begins flowing. And as it flows with its velocity, it hits the turbine. And the turbine will rotate with its blade. And the generator will be able to produce electricity, which is distributed to the nearby places through power lines, through power lines. So it's a matter of having uh, a stream on the acid surface, maybe from a reservoir where this maybe hot spring is, then this water under pressure from the hot steam or hot water hits the turbine, the turbine will rotate its blades and the generator will begin producing power which will be distributed as I said through power lines. Biomass. Biomass is another example of renewable energy. Biomass. This is the oldest source of power, renewable energy, used by our ancestors in form of firewood. This explains sources of biomass from animal waste from plants, residues, from sewage, from agricultural crops and residues, from residues in forests, everywhere. Uh, biomass has got very many sources, as I said, and this one gives us different forms of biomass. For example, wood fuel. This is firewood from forests. This is one of the sources of biomass. We have wood fuel from the forests. Then, this is firewood in short. Then we have biogas from animal wastes and I think human wastes. Then we have gas hole. Gas hole. How do we get this? Uh, from plants. Plant material may be converted into alcohol, which is a fuel. Wood wastes and garbage can be heated to produce methane. Most plants containing starch and sugar, like sugar canes and cassava, can be converted into ethane. Corn and corn stalks, manure and sewage can be fermented and distilled to give ethane. 
and which can all be converted or which can all uh, directly burn as fuel. Thank you.